Hashtag the GES crew. Rule number five, believe in you. And what I mean by that is you're your best tool. When you wake up in the morning, you go in the bathroom to do whatever you got to do. Look at that person in the mirror. It's you. That's your best tool in life. So believe in you. Walk with your head up. Walk confident. Speak confident. Act confident. Because you are the only person that can change your situation. And you may disagree with that when you say, yeah, somebody could come in my life and somebody could give me money. Somebody could give me a job. Somebody can put me in a position. But a lot of times you're earning that position based off of how you interact with that person or how you move throughout life. So you are your best tool, fellas. Yeah, you're your best tool. A lot of times, like you said, believe in yourself. Sometimes you got to believe in yourself to make your own opportunity. Sometimes you got to be reinvent things to do things where people are not going to open the door for you. But the thing is this, as long as you keep trying, meaning no matter how many doors shut in your face, one of them doors going to open. So as long as you just keep proceeding, don't let somebody, you know, as long as you believe in yourself, you got to feel like you worth something. When you put a value on yourself, and, and that goes to everybody, even these young women, when you got low values to yourself, you will go out here and look a certain way to degrade yourself like a low self-esteem. But when you got good self-esteem, you fix yourself up to go out here like a queen. When you a man, you fix yourself up to go out here and look like a king. No matter if you don't even have the money of a king or queen, it's just your essence of yourself because you know who you are. Everybody out here, like I say, entitled where everybody got a crown, but and it's people in, in, in positions who probably shouldn't even be there. You're more qualified. You're more intelligent. You're more everything, more people person. Your attitude is better, but you got to believe in yourself when you go out on doors. Every time you go out on doors, represent yourself as a true king, young king, a young queen, true queen. Go out there and be the best you can be. Because sometimes, like I said, everybody not going to give you the opportunity, but you got the mind and the heart to create your own essence of your own opportunity, your own business, your own nail salon, your own barber shop, your own tattoo place, whatever you like to do, grad service. If you want to go out here and get cars and take elderly people around, you can do anything you put your mind to. Believe in yourself. <laughs> this is the, this is my number one topic here. Believe in yourself. Um, I think it, in, in this day and time with the world being smaller because of the internet, we have to get start putting ourselves in positions where we build our own tables. They always say, come to the table with this, come to the table with that. Once you come to the table, once you bring your table to the table, you know, because what we do is a lot of times we'll seek out um, employment. And I'm not saying nothing's wrong with a job. I say work a job, but make sure you build in something on the side that can be that can be your primary source at some point because you need to be able to control your life and your lifestyle and you can't do that if someone else has complete control over you, you got to go in there and ask them for this and ask them for that you know the school system the secondary well the the basic school system from k k through 12 has just taught people how to be employees you hear people all the time saying, well, why didn't they teach us this? They didn't teach entrepreneurship. Why would they teach you how to be independent? Why? America was built on the process of, of having people free labor or low cost labor. Even when it got to the point where people doing sharecropping, it was low cost labor. And then they still didn't know what they was going to get. Um, a lot of times, depending on who, you know, the, the owner was at that point. So we have to take the reins right now. You see, a, there's a huge entrepreneurial movement going on. There's so many opportunities. There's things that's being created and 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 uh, every day, just new exciting things. I was listening to a a video from uh, one of the guys on Shark Tank, Mr. Wonderful, Kevin O'Leary, and he said the drug that that they give you. To, to give away your dreams is called a salary. Mm. Just think about that. He said, the, this Mr. Wonderful from the Shark Tank, 
a hell of an entrepreneur. He said, the drug that they give you to give away your dream is called a salary. Just think about that. Believe in yourself.